homosexuals can change and that's what we do here we this is a clinic of eight therapists myself and seven other therapists and we work toward changing men and women who want to come out of homosexuality and we have one woman on staff she she deals with the lesbians and the others are men who work with the men one of the reasons why a lot of people don't believe or cannot believe that homosexuals can change is because we're not seeing these individuals coming forth and telling their story. The only story we're hearing is, I am gay, I didn't want to be gay, but I realized I was, and now I accept myself, and this is what they call the coming out story. Okay, But we need to hear about another kind of coming out story. And this other kind of coming out story is a person who says, I had these feelings, I had these attractions, I was told I was born gay, I was told that I didn't have a choice, but then I discovered that there were things that I could do by understanding myself, by understanding my childhood, by looking at particular things that happened to me, I began to understand what my sexual attraction was about. And now I am no longer gay, I am no longer living in a gay lifestyle, here is my wife, here is my family. Now we need to see more of those stories. One of the arguments against the ex-gay is, well, he never really changed, he's just suppressing, he's denying his true feelings, he's pretending to be heterosexual. But in fact, when you listen closely to these people and listen to their testimony, listen to their story, they experience a, a reduction in their same-sex attraction. I'm not saying that there, there is no more zero homosexual attraction. There may be a little bit left. But these individuals do not need to live their life around their homosexuality. These are people who are choosing to get married and have families, and they experience an authentic sexual attraction for their wife. They experience a significant reduction in their homosexual attraction. We do, we do this work all day long. We work with 135 cases a week ongoing, and I can tell you people do change. I never really chose to go into this kind of work. I never gave it serious thought. I never gave it really serious consideration or study. But I saw a number of individuals who had come to me, and they had these sexual attractions, these homosexual feelings, but they did not want them. It was in contrast to their faith. It was a contrast to their religious beliefs. And so we began to look at understanding them. I had no understanding of the condition, but I saw that they all had a hurtful relationship with the father. They typically had over-involved, intrusive, domineering mothers and distant, detached, or critical fathers. And we began to do this work, and I began to develop an understanding of the treatment. And uh, of course, doing some literature review and reading and studying, and I began to see a pattern. While they are looking for a gay gene, the fact is that there is much more scientific evidence for what we call the classic triadic family dynamic. Triadic in the word triangle. In one corner, you have the over-involved, intrusive, domineering mother. In the other triangle, you have the distant, detached, or the critical father. And then in the other triangle, you have the temperamentally sensitive, introverted, artistic, timid, shy boy. Now that might be a temperament. The boy, the boy might have been born with a biological temperament, as I've just des described it. But that doesn't make a homosexual. What makes a homosexual is that this temperament now is influenced by the mother-father family relationship and pushes this boy from temperamental sensitivity to same-sex attraction. And that is what we focus in on.